This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you how to make your own dog shampoo at home, how to properly give your dog a bath. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In this edition, I'm actually gonna show you how to make your own dog shampoo at home. One that is specifically therapeutic if we've got you know, especially smelly dogs or those dogs in particular that have their ongoing skin problems. As well, then I'm actually gonna take uh, my neighbor's dog Pearl up, my, Lewis's best buddy. We're gonna take her upstairs, I'm gonna take her into the bath and actually give her a bath and show you how you're supposed to properly do it at home. So to start, I'm going to give you the ingredients that you should have on hand and then I'll actually go through the specific recipe and I'll actually make it right here so you can see how to do it. So here I, here I have a measuring cup and I've got myself three quarters of a cup of water. The next thing I have is the actual the base which is the soap. So this is called Castile soap. I talked about it in the last video. Uh, so in particular, this is an oil-based soap. It's plant-based. So we're looking at oils such as olive oil, coconut oil, even cannabis oil. Um, and they've combined it with another ingredient called lye. Uh, it's very alkali, cooked it up for about six hours, turned it into this really concentrated soap. So it's a great natural soap, a great base, um, in particular one that you want to be using, safely using with your dogs and your cats. So we're going to use, have this Castile soap on hand. I've got this, apple cider vinegar. Uh, it's an organic, um, unpasteurized, is ideal. Then lastly, what I have is an essential oil. Um, and this one I have, I really like. It's, it's sort of the basic essential oil that I often suggest most of you pet owners start with. It's lavender essential oil. Start out with the water. So I've got the measuring cup here. I have three quarters of a cup of water put in. Next, we're gonna go with the Castile soap. And I want you guys to be putting in Oh, if I can open it, I'm going to start out with one tablespoon. So here's my tablespoon measure here. There we go. We've got one tablespoon of soap. Next, I want to put in two tablespoons of this vinegar. I got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Going in here. Okay. And then our last thing, this is the essential oil. This is lavender essential oil. I'm going to put in 10 drops of the lavender oil. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 drops. So let's get this in my shampoo bottle and then we'll hop upstairs, give Pearl a bath. And now we found Pearl. Come on, Pearl. Let's go. Go, girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on, Pearl. Good girl. It's going to be fun up there. We're going to have a path. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Hi, guys. So I've made it upstairs now to my bathroom. Pearl is a little reluctant. She's kind of figured out there's something happening. So here she is. There. Pearl, as you can see, maybe not so keen on the bath. Hi guys, so I want you to start out, preferably have some type of shower, massage, something that's gonna be able to spray as well as water, but if that's all you have, so be it. The bath is fine. Let's get it so it's lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold for Pearl. Then the first thing is you wanna fully soak your dog. You want to make sure that she's fully lathered up first. Make it a bit, make it a little bit cooler, Pearl. And and as I talked about in the last video, you really want to concentrate um, under the armpits, the groin, all those areas where the skin folds will trap the yeast and bacteria. Um, just be careful to avoid getting any water in your dog's ears. You know, staying away from their eyes. In general, I just stay away from their entire face. The next thing is we're gonna use the soap and lather her up. So here's our doggy odor removal soap, our own homemade shampoo, which combines 
and the water, the Castile soap. It's going to combine the apple cider vinegar and the tan drops of lavender. So just liberally squirt it all over your dog. Because we've got the Castile soap in there, it actually is going to lather up like a soap, which is really nice. Really concentrating under those armpits and all along the base of her chest. All those skin folds which trap that bacteria and really produce that strong odor. You might even have to get into the bath with your dog to make sure you're getting it fully on her. Diane with Pearl. She smells especially strong. I really want her to smell better. So she's getting a nice thorough shampooing today. And really, really work it in. Like you're really, you know, lathering in that shampoo, working its way through the hair coat right down to the skin. Because the bacteria are growing right at the level of the skin, right to the level of the hair follicles, not up in the hair itself. So it's got to be right down at their skin. And I'll often make a point of putting extra amounts inside the groin, really getting into those skin folds, really rubbing it really well. Ideally, you're going to let, let it sit for a full 10 minutes. And generally, one of the big problems I found in veterinary practice with many pet owners is they'll use a variety of different shampoos, for instance, the therapeutic shampoos. But if that doesn't get to sit in contact with the skin for a long enough period of time, it has, doesn't have an effect on the bacteria or the yeast. So you still have that strong, strong doggy smell. So here's our countdown timer. Right there it says 9.29. Let's call it 9.30 for sake of being thorough. So we've got to wait a full 10 minutes. So in this period of time, I'm not going to let you guys wait for a full 10 minutes. We're just going to speed it up, a little time lapse thing. Maybe I'll throw in some music. Um, but Okay guys, so finally it's been 10 minutes. That is a long 10 minutes, okay? I, I now get how so many dog owners have an issue with waiting 10 minutes. But as I said, if you can wait this 10 minutes, so much better, because then you have a chance for that shampoo to do its thing, to help, um, help eliminate that yeast, that bacteria. So now let's just get off on to rinsing pearl. We'll give her a good towel up, and then she's done, and then I'll do a little smell test for you. Okay, Pearl, let's get you rinsed up. Okay. And then when you're rinsing, really thoroughly rinse. Because leaving that shampoo on the skin can also be irritating drying this, the coat out. And, and then just pre predisposing your dog to other skin disorders. But just imagine yourself, you know, if the shampoo's la left on, then your skin can feel itchy as well because that soap can be irritating as well. So really make sure that you're getting all the areas of your dog's fur that's been shampooed and just spend a bit longer than you think. <coughs> all right, well. Finally, she's rinsed up. Now I'm just gonna towel her off in the bath. Okay, good girl, Pearl. Uh, uh. All right, you. 
and I can keep more of the doggy stuff, hair, dirt, etc., in the bath, and I can just rinse it out after. All right, Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl's pretty happy now. Good girl, yes. Yep, she's out of the bath. Oh, and she smells so good. It's a combination of the primarily lavender and just she smells clean. It's the cleanest I've had her smelt her in a few months. Good girl, Pearl. Thank you guys for watching this edition of Entry Secrets on one, how to make your own dog shampoo, two, how to properly give your dog a bath. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to subscribe. You can do that by clicking that link in the box above. Then go ahead, click that link in the box below. I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies.